In the previous uh, two units in this week, we talked about Boolean functions, and most of this discussion has been theoretical. Uh, starting with this unit, we are going to talk about how we actually implement these Boolean functions using hardware. In particular, we're going to talk about a general technique called uh, gate logic, which, you know, loosely speaking, it's a technique for implementing Boolean functions using logic gates. Now, what is a logic gate? Well, a logic gate is a standalone uh, chip or a, you know, a very simple chip or an elementary uh, uh, chip which is designed to deliver a well-defined functionality. You know, something like NAND functionality, AND functionality, OR, and so on. What is a composite uh, logic gate? A composite logic gate is one which is made up from elementary logic gate and other composite logic gates. Or simply, it's, it's a more complex uh, gate than the elementary ones. And uh, in this course, we'll develop things like multiplexers and adders. And obviously, most of you don't know uh, what, the, what these terms mean. Don't worry about it. Uh, you will uh, uh, get acquainted with them and actually build them in the next uh, uh, few weeks in the course. All right, so let us begin with the most fundamental uh, logic gates that we use in this course called NAND. Here's the definition of a NAND. You know, this is uh, actually the standard diagram that we use to describe a NAND uh, gate. It has two inputs and a single output. Everything here is binary, so uh, A, B, and out are either 0 and, uh, uh, or 1. Uh, here is a functional description of this, uh, of this uh, gate. If both uh, inputs are 1, we output 0. Under any other circumstance, we output 1. And here is also a truth table description of the same uh, uh, functional uh, specification. Any one of these descriptions is fine. Taken together, what we have here is an abstraction of the NAND gate. We didn't say a word about how this thing is actually working. We just describe what kind of functionality we can expect it to deliver. Okay, moving forward, here are uh, three classical gates that uh, uh, pop up in every uh, uh, digital design uh, project. We have an AND gate, which uh, outputs one when both its inputs are one and zero uh, elsewhere. We, we have an OR gate, which outputs one when either one of its inputs are one and uh, uh, zero elsewhere. And we have a, a NOT gate that operates uh, as a converter. And we can put these gates together to create more complex uh, functionality, as uh, we'll illustrate uh, later on. In particular, we can use these gates to create composite, uh, composite ones. So, for example, here's a three-way end, which is uh, an extension, if you will, of the, uh, of the simple uh, two-way end. And uh, one way to build it is to use uh, this uh, trick here. We can uh, take the output of one end and feed it uh, into one of the inputs of another end gate. And uh, if we wire everything uh, correctly, this gate is supposed to deliver the required uh, functionality. What we see in the uh, dashed uh, line uh, uh, rectangle around the implementation is uh, um, a documentation of the interface of this chip. So the user lives outside the dashed uh, uh, rectangle, so, and, and so the user sees only the three inputs and the output, as you see in the left-hand side uh, of, uh, of the gate uh, description. If you want to go in or to sort of open up the black box, uh, you have to uh, 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 see what is uh, documented and done inside the dashed uh, rectangle. So with that, I would like to say a few words about the notion of uh, interface and implementation. The gate interface is the gate abstraction. You know, this is how the user thinks about what the gate is supposed to do. Interface answers the question, what? At the same time, if you want to understand how the chip is doing what it's doing, you have to uh, 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 go deeper and go in, well, I'm not sure the deeper is the right word, but you have to go to another level of detail in which you actually, uh, 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 the black box opens up and you see how the chip is actually 
constructed. Or you do it yourself, you know, if, if your job is to be uh, the person who, who is actually realizing this uh, uh, abstraction. Now, the interface of the gate is unique. There's only one way to describe the gate uh, functionality. Otherwise, you know, if there's more than one way, either you're not describing it well, uh, or you're confusing the user because, you know, there should be only one unique way to describe what a gate is supposed to do. At the same time, there may be several different implementations that realize the same abstraction. And some implementations may be, you know, more elegant, uh, they may use less energy, they may be less or more expensive, and so on. So, one abstraction, many different implementations. This is uh, very typical in, uh, in computer science. Whenever you build a large system, you have this, uh, this duality. All right, now, uh, moving along, so we talked about the gate interface and the gate uh, uh, implementation. Uh, let's talk about uh, something known as circuit implementations. If I want, I can realize uh, these gates using uh, uh, hardwired circuits, like, like this one. And there's a certain uh, sort of graphical language here that describes what's going on. Um, when we want to represent the fact that the gate outputs one, we assume that a light bulb will be uh, turned on. And uh, when the gate delivers uh, output zero, uh, the light bulb will be off. So if we look at this uh, implementation of an end circuit, we see that uh, because of the architecture of this uh, circuit, uh, the light bulb will, uh, will be on only if the two relays, both relays, are latched. Under any other circumstance, uh, the light bulb will go off. And that's, that's exactly what I want to do when I represent uh, the end logic. What about all logic? Well, uh, once again, if, I'm, if I have to build a circuit, circuit implementation of OR, I can realize it using uh, this uh, particular architecture. And here, it takes only one latch uh, to close the circuit and uh, turn on the light bulb. And once again, this is uh, consistent with uh, the desired abstraction of an OR circuit. Uh, moving along, uh, here is a circuit implement implementation of a three-way end, and uh, you can easily, I think, convince yourself that it will deliver the, uh, uh, the required uh, functionality. And yet, I want to remind you that earlier in this unit, we also presented this implementation of, of an end gate, if you recall. So I'd like to say a few words about these two uh, different uh, approaches to uh, designing hardware. And uh, I want to start by saying that in this particular course, we don't deal with physical implementations. And therefore, this whole discussion of circuits, transistors, relays, and so on, you know, all this stuff, and what you see in the top left corner of the screen here, this is electrical engineering. It's not computer science. And the people who build uh, these uh, gates using circuits and, and similar technologies, some of them are far more advanced and sophisticated. Well, these people are called electrical engineers. God bless their souls. Uh, you know, we have enough problems in computer science to worry about. So we are not going to worry at all about physical implementations. And all the designs that we are going to use in our course are going to be similar to what we did here at the bottom uh, uh, right of the screen. We are going to take existing uh, uh, logic gates, beginning with NAND, and, and beginning with NAND only, and we're going to piece them together in some clever ways in order to generate and, and produce the required functionality. So this has been uh, a unit in which we, uh, uh, we gave you a first a brief introduction of logic gates. And in the next unit, we are going to uh, introduce to you uh, a language, uh, in some sort of a programming language called HDL, or Hardware Description Language, with which you can actually build uh, uh, logic gates like the ones you saw in this unit and uh, far more complex uh, logic gates and chips down the road.